I don't know why, but I want to show. I don't know why, but I want to show you how to prove the Arlen's formula. So check this out. First, of course, we have to have an arc. So let's say the arc is right here. And then let's say we are going from A to B, and then we have the function y is equal to f of x. And here's the deal. We are going to pick a point on the curve first, and then draw a tangent segment, and then form a right triangle right here. And as you can see, this right here is shown to be dx. This is dy. And you think this is dc, but no. This right here is dl. And then we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So we know dl squared is equal to dx squared plus dy squared. And then take the positive square roots on both sides. We know that dl is equal to square root of dx squared plus dy squared. And now we are just going to integrate both sides. So we can get the l. And this is going to be the integral of the square root. And right here, we are going to factor out the dx squared. So let me put it down right here. Parentheses, and we will have 1 plus parentheses. And we will have the dy dx inside. And then square that. And what's on the outside though, don't worry, you see? It's the square root of this times the square root of that, right? So this thing right here can be put on the outside by normal square root. So ladies and gentlemen, this right here becomes the integral of the square root of just this right here, namely 1 plus the parentheses with dl dy dx inside, and then square, and then with the dx on the very outside. And because we're in the x world, so we have to go from a to b right here. So let me just indicate that a goes from a to b. Oh my god, I'm finally done, yes! <laughs> 